everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Serenade by Franz Schubert. The first thing that you should know is the D minor scale and it's like this. From that scale we're gonna use the first chord D minor and what we'll use is the version so we're gonna take the A and put it below and we have this. Also we add the D on the bass from the same chord. So what we'll do is punch this D and then move these notes around. So we have A and D, D and F. And that's it. Then we'll count. One, two, three, and that's it. The pedaling, you could put it right after the key. So you play D, pedal down, and then you go through this. Next chord, we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna use the B flat major. B flat major is found on the sixth degree of the scale, and what we'll do is bring it closer to the D minor here, and we'll do the same technique. We put B flat on the bass, and we move this two notes and two notes. And that's it, and we use the same technique. One thing is when you play B flat, your pedaling should go up down so when you do up down on B flat and you use this afterwards if you play it from before we have now up down when you get to the key and you keep going that's it next measure we're gonna use the two chord and if you go to E you could build this chord I need minor 7 flat 5, like this, and what we'll do is the inversions of this. The G that is here, on the top, we're going to bring it below, and we're going to keep these notes here. What I like for this is 1, 2, and then maybe 2, 4, like this. But maybe 2, 3, that will be okay. This is what I use. So pedal down after you play G and then you go through this. Okay, so notice that these two notes create tension. So you could either increase the volume a little bit or maybe be aware of that. Okay, so if we play it all together, you could practice this. And we could play from before counting. So D minor, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna switch here. Okay, we're gonna go to A major. Again, A major could be found on the fifth degree. It's right there. And in this case, we leave it like it is, like this. I like here to place one or two, two, four, like we've been doing. And then again, we'll use the bass A. And that's the introductory part. Now I'm gonna play it very slowly for you and then play a little slightly faster song. One, two, three, B flat. One, two, three, G. Three and one. Alright, you can move this, you can start pianissimo, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then release here, and then we'll start with the melody, okay? I hope this is helpful, let's continue to the next part. The melody, we're going to use the A from the chord and the D. And what we'll use is a B flat in between, a passing tone. So the melody does this. And notice that we see it outlining the D minor note. So that's it. Okay. And then what we'll do is harmonize this because we're using these two notes from the same chord. We'll use the same inversion here A, D, F that we used before. And the only tricky part is we have to leap. So not only we use that, so you could punch this 
like that. But for the piece, we'll do this. D on the bass, we leap and we play these notes. So notice that it's the same chord from before, but split with the left hand. So, bass and... And when you practice this, it's important that you feel the one, the two, the three. Okay. Now, when you put it together, you have the A together with the D. But because we have a polar rhythm, three against two, we're going to do this. Together, right, left, right, and together here. And then we continue, and then together here. So. And we have solved that. Now, if we had that down, then the next one is the same, but we're going to switch here. Notice now that we're using this chord, the two chord, E minor 7, flat 5, and we move this note, rest, and we'll use the same technique, but this chord, in this case, we'll use the B flat on the bass, but also we rearrange these notes and we end up with these notes, okay, which he'll move like this, so you have left hand. That. And that's it. Now we put it together, we put it together the same way. Together, right, left, right, together. And then we continue together here. And that's it. I'll do it one last time. Together, right, left, right, together here. And together with the D and E. And then we're going to switch. Alright? If you got the first one on D minor, then this one you should get it too. It's the same thing. Now once you switch to A, that's telling you we go back to the A major chord. And we have this melody. And we end up with the first section of the piece. So A accent, triplet afterwards, and that's it. Now because we have A, we'll use an A major chord on the left hand, and in this case it's going to be the A7. A7 is like this. We have the A and we have the G. So what we'll do is flip all these notes several times until we get to this place here, and we'll play this and the A and C sharp. That's it. So. Bass note on A and back and forth here. When we match it, we could match it the A together. We'll do G and A, 3, 2, 1, 2, G together, together, and then we do right, left, right, and together. And we go back to D minor in the next inversion, which is F A A D. All right? So what I'm gonna do is play all of this very slowly so you can see it. So I'm gonna start with the introductory part, so. We start there, go to the next one. E minor seven flat five. Major. Now together. Together here. Together here. Rest. Together accent. And then D minor again. And that's it. Notice that when I go up on the line. I increase the volume and release an A. Same with this one. A little bit more to the D. And then he has an accent, first beat. Triplets. All right? Sometimes if this is too difficult, you can practice the left hand like this by itself. And count at the same time if you can. One, two, three, and 
one three and one and that's it it's important here that at the end after you do the two lines with the triplet let's say you do you go up you go up higher so more volume you get to the accent and then maybe release here the end of the line all right so now from now on we're gonna use those chords in the next section so here we're still an A major and we're gonna use A7 but what we'll do is open up and that's an arpeggio all the way up A C sharp A like this and then you could do three five here three five again here two four one three and D and F with two four I'll do it again a little faster one two da, da, triplet and that's it here we're gonna put two chords the A7 and the D minor which we played before so we're gonna do it this way left hand A we're gonna punch the A chord here and we're gonna do E and G from the A7 and go back and forth these two and I like this I like to do one three five and then two one like this and I go up down for each chord then I have D minor Right, so if you want to practice pedal down after you play it, pedal down again on D, and that's it. So together now we punch it, arpeggio. Now we march here, march now right, left, right, and together. That's it. I recommend spending a lot of time making sure you have this now here together right left right and together change the pedal there all right so the next part is going to repeat same left hand so we're going to have this D minor we already did this here we go to E minor 7 flat 5 but we're gonna use a different chord here. So I'm gonna give you the melody line, simple melody here. Now, same notes, but instead of D, we go to F. That's it. All right, that's all there is. So you can punch this chord to tell you D minor, but we're gonna work on coordination again. So if you do it together, you got this on the left hand. Let's try it together. So, this is the same technique we used at the beginning. Three against two. So, right, left, right, and together. We end there. Let's continue to the next one. Melody. Alright, so here, same thing. B flat right left right together together here and we're gonna switch so let's play these two measures together here now we got the C here and what we'll do is change the chord we're gonna use the C7 like this Okay, so we have melody and then we harmonize the melody with that. Notice that the C7 is outlined there. We have this chord on the left hand. Back and forth. We do the same thing now. C. We move this together and again the triplet together. Right, left, right and we go to F major and these are the chords all right that's all there is there so let's play a C7 together 
seven, and F major. Now here we go and do the six here, F and D. We do E and C together with C. Same chord, double notes down, same rhythm. And we go back to F. So it's the same thing, putting double notes in it. Okay, I'll do it one last time. So we have same notes, double, like this. Okay. C7. And back to F major. Alright, and this is the first part. Now maybe what I'll do now is a playthrough. So you have all the notes together all the way through the first part. Flat. E minor seven flat five tension release now. Now here you leap here you stay there. Make sure you do the three against two together right left right together. Press here, accent. Again, together, right, left, right, together. And we continue. Arpeggio. Together, now three against two again. Together, right, left, right, together. This is very good for independence. Depending on your level, that one may, might be easy. So now we go again. Together, right, left, right, together. Now, same thing. Together, right, left, right, together. Together here. Together. And then together here, right, now. Left, right, again. The F notes, piano here, and we go C7 together, together, right, left, right, and together. I hope this is helpful. See you on part two. So now we're going to have this melody. Okay, so we have A, long note, quick note to F, quick note, and quick note here. Okay, if we have the pulses going, we can measure this like this. Okay. Now we're going to harmonize this and notice that by playing A and C sharp we are outlining the A major. So we're going to go and do an A7 on the left hand just like we did before. G and A and A and C sharp. And we play the bass. So bass, G and A, A and C sharp. And then here for the first time we're going to use a D major chord instead of D minor. So D major, D minor was like this, we're going to use that instead with an F sharp. 
So we're gonna go to the D bass and do this. And that's all there is. So we play A7, have this. D major now. Always change the pedal each time you change the harmony. I'll do it together very slowly. So you punch this quick note in the middle, and we match here. Match this one by itself, quick here. And that's all there is. Do it quicker, you have this. But really take your time to learn this well so you could speed it up eventually. And notice that we increase the tension here on F. Here, release. All right, now we're gonna switch. Now we play D major, and if you know the D major scale, you know like it's like this. Now, we could take that as a one chord and go to G. One, two, three, four. We could use the G chord now instead. And we could put this arrangement. We could put the G on the bass, on the left hand. And these three notes punch it here. It's very nice sometimes to feel the bass. Low note, pedal. So those are important notes. Bass note there. It helps as a cushion for the whole melody on top. So I have this. Notice that the one, two, three is present there. All right. As a melody, we have this. And again, triplet song. This piece is a very good way to learn all triplets. It's everywhere, pretty much in each measure. So we have. And we have all, not only that, but we'll add an ornament. That's the whole melody there, ornament, quick notes. So we have B, C sharp, B. And don't forget to always rotate a little bit there, back and forth for cloudy day. If you do it together, you have to think on the B after the ornament. So the ornament's here. You think on the B together here. Now you do right, left, right, and together. We run this up. Together here, and we go to D here, D major again. Okay, there we have four measures. I think I'm gonna play it all four measures. So let's start on A. Line here. Get to D. Now ornament. Okay, if you didn't get that, it's just like the other ones. Ornament, there, right, left, right, left. At least do that for a few times if you got stuck. And that's it. Let's continue now. Now we're going to have double notes. Simple melody will be this. Okay, and the same triplet here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. We have there. We'll do double notes though. We do E, D sharp and F sharp. One, three here. Three, five. C sharp, G. And D, F sharp. Okay? And all of these over the same chords we have. Let's say A major. So we punch the A on the bass and we run this. In this case, we change a few notes. So we have E and A, A and C sharp. Tom. That's it, that's all we have. It's important that you go in, see the thumb is too far out. So go inside when you play it. Okay, if you do it together, you have together this, right, 
left, right and together here. And D major here. Alright, this is loud so you could bring a lot of volume in it. Accent. And we change to D. Now once we do D F sharp with the D on the bass, we'll have this chord D major. We already discussed this and we do the versions here. And that's it. It resolves that. So we created tension here. We release. Okay, I like this. I like the one here and then leaping here. But you could also you do this with the same finger. The only problem with that is punching all the notes at one time. Last time, so accent together here and D. That's it, let's continue now and we're gonna go to a different chord now which is like this and it's found there you have it fourth chord G minor and what we'll use is those two notes like this long note notice the whole G minor chord there so one two Yum, and then we go to D major there, okay? Now this chord, we have that as a melody, but we'll use it also on the left hand, flipped like this. We would use this, like that. So it's G minor and inversion, back and forth. And if we do it with the bass, D here, we'll do that. And then it's gonna go back to D major. That's it, so we punch it out together. G minor. Here together. By itself. And D major. That's it. And then after that D major, we have the same three notes repetitive like this. All right, let's do it together. Much one, one, and another one, and then we'll switch. We we'll play G and A right there, and this is coming back to the A7. Remember the A7 like this. So we punch this, and this is going to be your left hand for this. That's it. Now your right hand has the melody, so after you play these two notes. You're gonna do C sharp and A, E and A, G and A, and then back to F sharp and A. Okay? Now, when you do it together, make sure that you do da -di -da -da. You bring those notes up. So what you do? By itself, by itself. Now, all together here. Together, together here, together here. And we're going to D major again. We play F and F sharp and A. And then here instead of G minor, we're gonna go to G major. Okay? But it's all the same notes, just different harmonies. So I'm gonna play now through the whole line until G major. So we have this now. Here now, increment, release, loud now, accent, D major again. Now minor, we could release here, lighter touch, so accent, D major, bring this lower note to D major. here will change we we'll go back to G major here okay but before we play minor now we'll do it's all the same we just that change of color here on the G major 
So let's play this. So we start G and B, top note, F sharp A. Now we could bring this up C, E, G, and F sharp and A. Okay? To harmonize that, we use the G chord. So we'll do this. We'll do the D and we move this chord here. G's right there, it's flipped. D major now. Alright, so we could do G major in this way. D major. Let's put that together, so. Together there. Now together here. Now we play that. We got the F sharp and D. Three times here, marching. And here we change to the A major that we did before. This is the same. Melody below. Alright, and all this is gonna go back to So all this section I play repeats once again one more time. So you have to play all of this two times. So what I'm gonna do now is play very slowly so you can see it part two. On the third beat you could retain a little bit. And go for it. Oh, let's see here. Remember the triplet there. March and together. We get to loud now. Accent. End of the phrase. Release. Think a little bit about that. Always up, down on the left hand. Minor now. Change your color. Bring the tumble. Now we continue. Match each one here. A major. Line below. C sharp. Back. Now we go to G major. Same process. To D. Same A. We bring out C sharp E G and we get here. And then the whole piece repeats again. So you have to play these two parts two times and then we'll get to the ending. Okay, now let's continue to the third part. Now, after you play this, which we play on repeat, so you let's say you repeat it here, and you end up on D major here. Here we're gonna change, and we're gonna start adding tension to this. So we're gonna have it's a simple melody, this. All right, I'll do it one last time, so. Go to C sharp. And 
then we're gonna end the line. So I noticed that the whole A major chord is outlined there and we increase tension because we have a crescendo. Dotted a long and short note and then an octave here, C sharp, C sharp. Okay, for the left hand we continue to use the A major but also sometimes we're gonna flip here and do the B flat there which creates tension it creates a diminished chord so we're gonna use this pedal down on A after you play it you have this you flip it here you go back but then you have an accent on this one tension and then you go back to the same one I do it one last time slowly one two three and back to A once you put it together you have the first note left this one by itself to C left hand there all right so it's like matching every other note together left by itself together by itself by itself together by itself and together so this will be when you play at speed Make sure that you do the switch correctly here to the diminish and back. Okay? So. Alright, so once you get to D, we're gonna go back to the melody. I said you have this. And then with the thumb, we'll do. We do the same line. And you try to bring this note here. The D more than the A. You aim towards that note more than the A to bring it out. So time is hard because you play two notes. You could use two also to have it more straight pointing at the D so you could bring it out. Okay, so we have now accent. All right. And left hand is going to remain the same, but the only thing we have this A, A and E, and then we have a quick note here. You have to, that's hard, I think that's the hardest part. It's confusing with the rhythm we were doing before. So we have the finish and back to the same. So, one last time. back. Now let's put it together. The D. Okay, so I show you there how to do it, but I'm going to do it slower. So together. Now quick here to here. Quick here to here. And then the D. up the phrase there okay let's do it very slowly from A get to here you emphasize the D all right now we're gonna continue So after that C sharp we have long note and we get the C sharp. The left hand, let's say if we start on the D and A right here, it's the same note. So we match, we match, and we match here quick to the next one. Same. is gonna switch and I think that's the hardest part from the whole piece there to do this right so I'm gonna play all together those four measures and then we continue from there so very slowly so together here together here together here you play the A quick together octave accent Accent, accent here on the D. We leap. Same. And we change here. And we're gonna 
switch there. Okay? So that's what we have. Now when you punch this, we could think this as an F sharp 7, like this, and what we'll do is put the F on the top, and we have this. That's it. So, melody. All right. So this chord. Now we're gonna make a nice arpeggio here. If you can reach up the mall, just hold it. If you cannot, you just let go. So, and then we move this E F sharp to these two notes. Just a background there. So. Always remember one, two, three, and then here we change also. In this case here, this chord we have like a B minor there, so so we run it E minor, and we are done. Let's do it together. So we have the arpeggio. Together, together, triple here, right, left, right, and B here. Quick note to this score. All right, and we went back to the triplets. So from before, if we play C sharp, very conscious here, loud. Right, there we have it. Okay, now next part we have this melody and then he'll harmonize with an E minor chord. Remember that before we did this chord, well, he dropped that note, that's why he has a natural there, and he does this melody on top, C sharp quick to D, and then release. So yum pada, and left hand does the B from the same chord and E minor here, move it around all together, together here, together here, and that's it. So yum pada. Okay, next one now, the B minor that we did, he'll use this here melody. So I noticed that it's the same. First he did it in E minor, now B minor. These two notes are part of the chord, this chord. And he'll do this. All right, B minor downstairs. So we have this. Like this, it's the same chord always. And if you do it together, this fingering between and together. All right, and then it's gonna go back to the other part that we played. So I'm gonna play the whole section here, and then it's just the ending there. So let's do it very slowly, starting on A. Inside melody. That's it. Let's continue now and remember the ornament here. So all that we already did. So all we do is put the G below. Going to D. And that's it. So together. Triple now. Right, left, right together. Together here. 
what this we did. Notice the sound here. Same sound. Now here what we're gonna change instead of C sharp and G we're gonna do the whole chord here. G, C sharp, G sharp, and this we're gonna go to D major again. But we added one more note here, the F sharp. That's it. So I'm gonna play there through. Same thing from before. Loud now. Accent. Full chord. Now here we're going from D major to D minor here. It's very nice that. Okay, so D major. Make sure there's like a surprise here. No. D minor. D together. Here. Remember that sound there, like an E minor 7 flat 5 used to be. So we have this all together there with the G. We move it around here. These two notes. Now we go to A. Notice full chord. Back and forth. D major. All these harmonies we did it. We add the F sharp together. So it's important that when you do the D major here, D minor now, same chord, but we lower the F. So it's very nice contrast there. The D matches E minor 7. We have here flat 5 with the B flat. A major, same chords, different inversion, but it's the same material. D major again. We double up this. G minor. Same melody. D major. Now here, same melody. Much, much, much. And then we have the little melody from before. again and then we get to the end here on the chord okay now let's go back and do a playthrough of the final part so we're gonna start on A we're gonna have the A chord together here diminished accent we have the A quick octave Accent again here. We match accent. Accent and then we leap here. Go back to the triplet here. Quick note. We open here, E minor, together here, B minor, together. We go back to the materials we did at the beginning, G major, together to D, now loud here. same pedaling we switch to D minor now nice contrast there we get to D D minor 7 flat 5 again diminuendo the crescendo A7 all D major notes here we match this very light G minor Accent is dying away now. I we have much, 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 and also here we did this melody. We 
bring the lower part of the hand get to the lower inversion D major D major again and we're gonna end in D major it's very peculiar because we started in D minor and we end in D major I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and buy me a coffee